I wondered what that guy did. Ah, knowing the Thalmor, he probably was uh, worshipping Talos or something? It would be best if Khajiit was not seen by them. Not that she thinks she's still on anybody's record, but I don't want to take any chances, you know? That just seems like bad practice, no? Where did Inigo go? That's a mud crab. Hello. You want to kill a mud crab, Inigo? We've got another one behind you. Oh, that's a big one. They are done. <gasps> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, splat. I have never seen somebody play discus with a mud crab before. That was good. Oh boy. Uh, and we have badness. That looks, uh... What are they going after now? Oh! What do you think, Inigo? My money is on the Thalmor, to be honest. We should probably get out of here while they're distracted, actually. Oh. Although... That guy doesn't seem very, uh, concerned about anything. <laughs> I'm still giggling about the mud crab. Alright, is there anything that we might be able to... make off with? Maybe. This looks like it will fit you, actually. He's about your size, no? Oh, there they come. Okay, time to get off the road. Oh. Hide. Yee. Generally speaking, I don't think... Oh. Mm. I don't think that they were still after me. Oh, the last time that I had Thalmor after me, they chased me up into the mountains because they thought I was smuggling messages. Or somebody thought that I was smuggling messages back and forth. Hello? From Imperials in Cyrodiil. Whoops. To, uh... To Imperial... Or Empire... Oh, there's more over there. Lovely. Empire sympathizers in elsewhere. That was a bad time. So we are going... around. We are going to avoid them. It was rather a minor... Uh, well, it seemed like rather a minor thing as far as reasons for Thalmor to be chasing people is concerned. And Ingrath did do a pretty good job of covering up my tracks and his tracks and his um handiwork. Oh, I see that saber cat. What is it chasing? Is it chasing a rabbit? Okay, this is going to be Interesting. Oh boy. Well, now it's chasing wolves, it looks like. Okay. What do you need? I need to give you this armor, perhaps. If I have it, you have it. You are a very strange individual. So, uh, where is that heavy armor that I gave you? 
uh, that, yes. I'm guessing you would prefer light, since it's easier to move in, and, uh, there. Oh, well, maybe not. Following. Okay. Well, hold on to it then. I will let you decide. Yes. If I have it, you have it. I take that back. Let me carry that for you because I don't want you clunking around in that heavy mail. No? The steel plate. It makes too much noise and I have a feeling... Even though it offers... Go. Yes, even though it offers better protection. Oh, shut up, stomach. You won't want to be sneaking around in that, or trying to, as the case may be. That just seems counterproductive. Alright. Uh, which way is Markarth? Markarth is... this way. Okay. Come with me! Oh, I've got more company. Oh, I, you know, I'd heard about the civil war in Skyrim, but, uh, kind of as any, what are you doing, Inigo? Okay. Kind of as any Khajiit hears about the civil war in Skyrim, or Imperials, I suppose, it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really... just hearing stories about it. Yes. I don't know. Let us go. Oh, dead horse. Oh, hello. We are going to back up. Back up, back up, back up, there we go. Okay. It doesn't really... Uh, come across, I suppose. Just how... Chaotic and uh, harrowing, I suppose. The actual war is. You don't really get the scale of it or the. Uh, I don't know. Oh, look. Somebody killed a poor. a poor merchant. What did he have? Eh? Doesn't look like much. Actually, I wonder if wolves got him and then this was just happenstance, no? Eh. Let's leave that alone, shall we? But yeah, you don't really get the full... The full knowledge of what this war is like until you have seen battle after battle after battle. At least that's what it seems like to me. I didn't really care much. Until I started deliver delivering. He looks bad. I wonder what's up there. Uh, Margaret is this way. Okay, let's not get distracted. But yes, I did not really care when I was just wandering around in Cyrodiil. Uh, and then I started delivering messages around here and, uh, you know, you see bad things happen. All over the place. Some days it gets, uh... It gets... I don't know. Oh, it gets rainy, apparently. It gets kind of hard to be uh, positive, I suppose. Keep a... Uh, keep your head up. Because you just see so many bad things happening and you just kind of uh, try to ignore them. I suppose that is a bit... Amusing, coming from an ex-bandit, but, you know, nobody, regardless of what kind of uh, occupation they uphold, nobody likes to see undue suffering, you know? Or uh, maybe that's a Khajiit thing. <laughs> One never knows. It could be, uh, be a Khajiit thing. If I remember correctly, you know, yeah, Nico. Oh, there you are. 
If I remember correctly, Inigo, you are from Cyrodiil, right? Uh, do I have anything that I can... There we go. I have a bit of goat cheese. Because why not? Ooh. A fog bank. That is... That is a fast moving fog bank. Ooh, okay, I have started to become a bit wary of this weather, no? Ah, and a wolf. Hello. Okay, on we go. But seeing as you are from... Whoa, that's a big place. That does not look like it could be Margarth, does it? No, okay. Seeing as you are from Cyrodiil and not elsewhere, you probably would not know the... Uh, the, uh, the kinds of, uh, you know, the, 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 I don't know, Fusos e Varvar. Live without regret, no? I suppose this is kind of, uh, what are we going this way? This is kind of like having a fish describe water, no? You live life positively and sweetly, even in the midst of, uh, the rain and the thunder and the... The thunder is scary, but, you know. But you live with as much... Uh, you live with as much life as you can, no? That is why... Var Var is life, no? This is very hard to explain, honestly. Even to a fellow Khajiit. And it's very hard to explain in Cyrodiilic because Cyrodiilic does not have the kinds of words that describe the things that I am trying to describe. Which way are we going, Inigo? I think it's this way, no? I feel like it should be this way. I'm going to trust my instincts on this one and also that goat. And also this signpost. Okay. Oh, look. Hello, Dibella. Pretty, pretty goddess, no? Oh. <laughs> that was interesting. I will not steal any of your things, Dibella. For you. You are the, uh... The embodiment of life sugar, no? Gosh, that sounds weirder than... <laughs> that sounds weirder than Cyrodiilic. Uh, var Var. It is, uh... Because she's she is uh, very beautiful and she's she is love and beauty kind of incarnate, I suppose. This one very much likes Dibella. She also knows that there are some people who take Dibella poor deep focus. Focus on getting the wolf instead of praising Dibella, no. There is a oh, there he goes. Ugh, oh, it is very rainy. But ooh, look, he got a goat. Perhaps a hunter will come along and skin them both and whatnot. Perhaps that is a hunter up there, actually. Ah, uh, maybe not. Eee. You do not look so good, sir. I'm sure you are aware of that. Okay, <laughs> continuing. Oh yeah, there are some people who are, uh, they take the worship of Dibella to interesting new places. This one is not so much that kind of uh, Dibella uh, like her. It would be so much easier to say some of these things in Ta'agra, but uh, I have not... I've not really spoken proper Ta'agra in several years. And at this point, I just sort of get confused with my own languages. Ah, 
Rajin Kodesh, it is hard. <laughs> you know, sometimes you trip over idioms that you know in one language, but you say them in a different language, and they make no sense. It is quite fun. If a bit confusing. Oh, uh, excuse me, goat. Hello, Imperials. I'm following the goats. Because I think this place is Margarth. I'm starting to get very cold, actually. My... <laughs> I'm shivering a little bit. Ah. Okay. I am shivering a little bit. That's bad. Okay. But that looks like Markarth up there, does it not? It's supposed to be a big dwarven city, you know? Big Dorven City rife with badness. Okay. I also need to refill my water. And I don't know if I trust this water, but I'm going to try anyway. Ooh. I'm assuming that since it is flowing out of out of and through rocks and whatnot and plants, it might be not so bad? Right, and let's also do this. Oh, that is much colder than my armor, but at least it's somewhat dry. Somewhat? Well, now it's not because I'm standing in the water, but excuse me, Inigo. Okay. Ooh, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. It is cold, and Khajiit is shivering. Ugh, that is unpleasant. Okay. You know, actually, before we go in, I feel like I should ask about this place. Traveling in the reach is dangerous. You need a good carry. Yeah. City of Markarth sure is a beauty. No doubt about that. Uh, what do you know about Markarth that the travelers such as myself should know? It's an old city. Legends say dwarves built it first. Then after they vanished, the natives moved in. Finally, the Nords took over around Tiber Septim's time. That bent a few folks' arms the wrong way. Oh. Um. What do you mean by that? Bent a few folks' arms. That's right. Whole group of the natives called the Forsworn rose up against the Nords. Drove them out. Then old Frick Stormcloak came with his militia. That must have been a sight to see him shouting folks to death. You'd Ooh. think that'd be the end of it. But those Forsworn are still in the hills. And they're as vile as wolves. I will keep that in mind. All right then. Note to self: Look out for angry wolfmen. I'm sure he did not mean that literally, did he? And go. Okay, let's just go. <laughs> Look out for angry, reach people. This is Markarth, traveler. Safest city in the reach. Eh, we'll see about that, shall we?